In September, the Tesla Model Y was the best-selling electric car in Europe. Well, it seems very likely that Tesla's sales in Europe are about to get a pretty significant boost with some more free marketing. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Thanks for tuning in to all the new subscribers and great to have you back to all of our existing subscribers. Now, big thanks to our Patreon supporters. There's been a couple of new Patreons come on board recently, guys. Thank you so much for coming on. If you want to become a Patreon, I'll put a link in the description below. Surprisingly, the now fairly old, it is old, to be fair, Tesla Model 3 has topped Europe's efficiency test. In a test conducted by Green NCAP, a European car assessment organization, the Tesla Model 3 topped the charts for efficiency scoring a pretty incredible 9.6 out of 10. Now, if you're wondering why this is, I'm gonna explain what I think at the end of this video, why I think the reasons are that it's still smashing these efficiency numbers and well, actually, it's actually improving. Its efficiency is getting better. As noted by green NCAP researchers and reported by Yahoo Sports, electric vehicles already give consumers a great way to increase their energy efficiency while traveling and generally help reduce their carbon footprint. However, in the organization's most recent comparison, Tesla was rated above other popular EVs for its efficiency and its sustainability ratings, which is surprising. I mean, didn't the EV6 and the Ionic 5 just win World Electric Cars of the Year? I mean, these kinds of magazines and publications, they're saying Tesla's old hat now, you know, they're not as good, the new vehicles are more efficient, and Tesla's going to lose market share. Well, there's something they're not actually realizing is happening. Now, this comparison was completed by the organization included Vehicles in the test were the Tesla Model 3, the Renault again E-Tech, the Neo ET7, and Green NCAP used a couple of tests to quantify their overall efficiency, including a highway driving efficiency test, a cold weather driving test, and a hot weather driving test. And there was a number of other tests as well. Now, the cars were given scores out of 10 on their energy efficiency index in different temperatures and in all different kinds of situations as well along with other metrics. So obviously they tested the cars when it was hot, when it was cold, really cold, really hot, to give them an idea of how the cars would perform in those situations. So remember, the McGain E-Tech, the Renault McGain E-Tech is a brand new electric car. It's really been launched to the market within the last couple of months. Brand new EV. The Model 3 scored the best with a 9.6 out of 10 on energy efficiency. The McGain E-Tech and the Neo ET7 got 9.4 out of 10, so they scored pretty well. Researchers said that Tesla's success was due to the vehicle's superior aerodynamics and the smaller frontal area. However, all the vehicles tested suffered in the cold weather test, dramatically increasing energy use by 72% in the case of Tesla and Neo and 78% for the Renault. Now, in the test that Bjorn Nyland has done on Tesla's vehicles in cold weather, they seem to be handling cold weather better now than what they were only a couple of years ago. And there's a key reason for that. However, from their results, Green NCAP said the need for improved air conditioning efficiency, both regarding heating and cooling, was significant. And the researchers also advocated for manufacturers to pursue lower cost vehicle options, allowing more consumers to access zero emissions forms of transportation. Now, I believe that Tesla is working on a Model 2, so there will be a lower cost electric car coming out soon. And Tesla have said they're going to produce more of the Model 2 or the Model A, whatever you want to call it, their affordable EV, than they will of all their other vehicles put together combined. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that comes soon. Now, while electric mobility is a huge jump in efficiency compared to ICE vehicles, I mean, they're about three times more energy efficient. It's true that we still have a ways to go. But remember, the key reason that Tesla vehicles are now more efficient than they used to be in the past is, well, Tesla keeps on changing them. And you might not notice that. You might be thinking, if you're one of the people that are new to the channel, thinking, oh, the Model 3, I mean, they made, them, they made them in 2017, right? I mean, this is an old car now, but actually it's very different. In fact, the current Model 3 is significantly lighter. So is the Model Y versus the original models when they first came out. One of the key reasons, right, is gigacastings, making pieces of a car out of one enormous sheet of metal. It makes the car lighter and structurally more rigid. And so you'll see that when manufacturers retest the weights of these cars, 
the weights will often reduce year after year after year. For example, the current Tesla Model 3 weighs only about 1,700 kilos, which is just over 3,500 pounds. However, if you compare it to, say, the BMW 3 Series electric car, that weighs around 2,200 kilos, so 500 kilos more, even though both cars are the same size. Now, the thing is, this is going to only improve further in the future. Tesla will be using structural battery packs with 4680 cells. They'll also be using CATLs, structural battery packs, that are for the standard range vehicles. And so the vehicle weight will continue to come down more and more and more. The other thing to remember is Tesla's motors. They've done a lot of work to improve the efficiency of the motor. One of the things I've also noticed is that fake grills on the front of cars don't do very well in efficiency tests. So while it may look a bit weird not having a grill on the front of your car, it's actually a big advantage aerodynamically. And it's definitely one of the key reasons why you want to avoid having a fake grill on the front of your car if you can. And if there is one on there, I mean, if you're, if you're able to, rip it off. One thing to remember, cold air. We can never truly actually get around this challenge. Now, while we can improve the efficiency of vehicles in cold air, like for example, Teslas now have a heat pump, which definitely improves their efficiency in cold and hot temperatures. The reality is colder air is actually denser air. That means that it increases aerodynamic drag. That isn't an EV only effect that applies to airplanes, for example. It applies to everything. The colder the air, the more aerodynamic drag there is because the denser the air becomes. So I thought this test was really interesting, but I did do a video on a comparison of 22 different electric cars, which I think actually gives us even more insight to some of the advantages of Tesla EVs versus other brands. I'll put a link in the description below to that video. If you've signed up to the channel or found the channel in the last 12 months, you probably haven't seen that video. So make sure you check that out. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you believe Tesla vehicles are efficient or not? Let me know why.